Hello everyone. Welcome back. It's me again, Iman Jones with Korean Air Practical Aviation Expressions. And uh, today we're going to be in Unit 2 or Chapter 2, Lesson 1. And this is a little different uh, than the format that you've seen previously, but it's just a reinforcement of what you've learned from Chapter 1 and you're going to see some of, maybe some of the same phrases used but in a different format and more of a conversational type uh, atmosphere. So I want you to be prepared. I'm going to give you an outline of exactly how the course will go. And it's very simple, multiple choice uh, interaction here. So it's not a test, but it's multiple choice interaction to get you to help you along in learning those uh, phraseology and non-standard phraseology phrases that we covered in unit uh, one. So here we go. Let me lay out the directions for you for today. Okay, you will be, uh, you will hear a question or a statement and three possible answers for each. Okay, like A, B, C, uh, and then you'll uh, see the answer. You will be shown the possible answers to each question. So you don't have to memorize anything. I'm going to show you each, uh, as you'll see, you'll be able to see the original uh, question on each slide. So that way, uh, that's always there for you and give you more of a chance to understand what's going on and to respond appropriately. And there will be, then uh, they, these uh, statements will be read to you or or in this case, read to you by me, or played only once, okay? So you just, uh, but I will give you a few uh, seconds to really uh, answer the questions. As you see, you will be given a few seconds to respond, select the best response to the question or statement, okay? Remember, the best response, okay? There could be multiple possible answers, but there's only one right answer, okay? And this is just one way. There may be other ways to answer or the uh, statements, or respond to the statements or answer the questions, but this is only one way that you may be able to uh, do this, okay? So, and instructors will not only explain the best answer, but why it's the best possible answer. So, at the end, once you make your selection, I'll let you know why you, uh, why this was the best possible answer among the choices that were given. Okay, here again, like I said, it all corresponds to chapter one, still in taxi, ground circumstances. So give you some type of frame of reference where your mind might be thinking, so you're not in the air yet, you're still on the ground, and dealing with those type of circumstances that deal with ground communications, okay? So, a little bright blue color for you so you can see a little better. Okay, our first statement, okay? First statement is all about taxi, and here we go. Taxi on Alpha, host short of Charlie 7, give way to the Mexicana Alpha 320 on your right, or A320 on your right. Taxi on Alpha, host short of Charlie 7, give way to the Mexicana A320 on your right. Okay, as we can see, this is a good statement, right? And so, as we go forward, what is some of the possible responses you might give? This is what you want to think about before you move forward and uh, give an answer, okay? So, let's look at our, our, our choices. First response, again, remember I told you, you'll see the original statement or, res uh, or question. So, you have that right there in front of you. So you can think about it, and then you can hopefully relate that to the answers that I'm going to show you, or the best possible answer, right? So, taxi on Alpha holds short of Charlie 7, give way to the Mexicana A320 on your right. Um, would we say requesting towing assistance? Uh, I like to uh, make a point here, be, being that this is chapter two, I'm probably going to do a little bit more uh, reiterating some basic facts that you should know about understanding English. Just like in most languages, you look for the verbs a lot of time, right? The action word, and then the dressing. And then sometimes you can't ignore the dressing because it makes everything looks good and brings everything together, right? 
But a lot of times you look at what we call the meat of the question or the statement, you can get an idea of what the possible answer could be and what your possible response would be, right? So, taxi on Alpha holds short of Charlie 7, give way to the Mexicana uh, A320 on your right. Okay, there's a couple verbs there, hold short, give way. Nothing has to do with requesting towing assistance, right? So, let's just put that to the, to the side, okay, in our head or write on a piece of paper if you like. Take notes and let's look at our next uh, question response. Okay, I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. That might fit into our answer here, right? I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. And if you remember, I did uh, these uh, on my right side uh, in chapter one, right? So you should know exactly what we're talking about. So, of course, you see give way to the Mexicana A320 on your right. Then here we have, I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. So I would make a really strong note on this one and as a possible answer, right? And then the second part of that says, okay, taxi further and hold short of Bravo 7. I will let you know when you're clear of the traffic. So you have the statement and the response. I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. Okay, taxi further, hold short of Bravo 7. I will let you know when you're clear of the traffic. Looking really good for a possible answer, right? So I, I would like to said I would hold that as a very strong possible answer in, in any case, right? Okay, so our third choice. Do you want me to stay on your frequency? I know I went over this in my chapter one. Do you want me to stay on your frequency? Has nothing to do with radio transmissions, right? We're talking about taxiing at this point, right? So we can exclude this answer and go on and what would we say that the answer would be A, B, or C? You're absolutely right. It is A. I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. Okay, taxi further and hold short of Bravo 7. I will let you know when you're clear of the traffic. Okay? Taxi on Alpha, hold short of Charlie 7. Give way to the Mexicana A320 on your right. Answer. I cannot see an aircraft on my right side. Okay, taxi further and hold short of Bravo 7. I will let you know when you're clear of the traffic. Very good. So now with uh, statement one, you have a really good idea of how the lesson's going to go. So in this series right here, I have five statements that we're gonna go over. I won't take too much of your time. Uh, we should be finishing around about 20 minutes. Okay, let's go. Second statement. Requesting towing assistance. Requesting towing assistance. Hmm, what is really going on here, right? Towing, right? And A, approve. How long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff? Unless someone's going to tow you into the air, I can, you can pretty much maybe exclude this one uh, but let's go a little further, right? Because we're talking about towing, right? Requesting towing assistance. And A is all talking all about taking off, right? Two very unrelated uh, situations, okay? B, do you require medical assistance? Again, maybe I'm making this too simple for you. Requesting towing assistance. Do you require medical assistance? I don't think I would need to require medical assistance and a tow at the same time. It's maybe, it's maybe a long, I mean, you would really be reaching in this case, right? So let's go ahead and look at C. Okay, requesting towing assistance. It will be at least 20 minutes before I can get you the tow truck. If you can, you can taxi up to Delta 3 and hang a right there and hold. It will be at least 20 minutes before I can get you the tow truck. If you can taxi up to Delta 3 and hold, I, I'm sorry, and hang a right there and hold. Okay, so here we have a really good, strong 
possible answer, right? Because we got the statement requesting towing assistance. Remember, looking at the action words. And then we have in our response right here, C as tow truck being involved, right? So let's see, what is the answer? Good choice, C. Like, it, I, like I said, I think I made this lesson too easy uh, for you, but I'll try harder uh, to really uh, uh, challenge you with the next uh, few statements. Okay, so the answer, of course, it will be at least 20 minutes before I can get you the tow truck. If you can, you can taxi up to Delta 3 and hang it right there and hold. Perfect answer response to requesting towing assistance. And like I said, get used to listening for the action words. Okay, it's a big key to going on, but don't ignore the dressing. Uh, that's all the other information that's pertinent to understanding uh, responses uh, uh, and handle, how to handle those responses and questions, right? Okay, our third question, excuse me. We cannot take off at the assigned slot time. What time should we take off? Okay, here we're talking about we're still on the ground, but we're talking about our assigned time, right? So we should, uh, what should we, uh, what time should we take off, right? So, first response, we need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. Uh, I see return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. In my mind, totally unrelated, and I hope so for you too, okay? Uh, because we're like, again, we're talking about taking off in our sign slot time, okay? Like I said, a lot of times you have to pick the um, uh, language apart in, under, in order to understand it better and, and get the right response. So here we go. One more time. You see the response and uh, the uh, question in front of you, and the response. Oh, taxi on Alpha, hold short of Charlie Seven. Give way to the Mexicana, A320 on your right. We're not talking about anything about in this phrase taxi, right? The, or give way. Those are a couple of the action words that you hear here. So we're talking about. Remember, we're looking for taking off at the assigned slot time, right? So you want to look for the keys to answering these questions and responses. Okay, C, if you can't make this one, the next flow time for you is at 0140 Zulu. Do you want to go back to your gate or hold near the runway with your engine running? Now this is a lot of information right there and a lot of that information definitely corresponds to your, your uh, statement, right? The question, right? We cannot take off at the assigned slot time. What time should we take off by? Response, if you can't make this one, the next flow time for you is at 0140 Zulu. Do you want to go back to the gate and hold for the next runway? Uh, I'm sorry, and hold near the runway with your engine running? Okay, and the answer would be, you got it, C. If you can't make this one, the next flow time for you is 0140 Zulu. Do you want to go back to the gate or hold near the runway with your engine running? All right, we're halfway there. Actually, we're two thirds of the way there. We're almost home. Remember, I told you it's a very quick lesson, but with a lot of information, and uh, hopefully uh, you're getting something out of this. Okay, our fourth statement. We need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. We need to return to the ramp due to a problem with the passenger. Okay, our choices are, do you require medical assistance? That's one possible answer. Remember I told you in the beginning, there could be many answers, but you wanna be looking for the best possible answer. And as I look at this response, do you require medical assistance? And I look at my a statement that was made, we need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. I might see a connection there, right? So you would, like I said, you wanna make the connection, especially with the action words, right? Returning to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. Do you need medical assistance? 
So I'm going to put a really strong mark by that one and come back to it maybe later, right, if I need to. Again, B, it will be at least 20 minutes before I can get you the tow truck. If you can taxi up to Delta 3 and hang it right there and hold. Mm, nothing about tow trucks in our statement. Nothing about taxiing, right, really, to uh, holding positions, right? We need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. Problem with a passenger, okay, key. Okay, and C, approved. How long of a heads up do you need for take, uh, for takeoff, for the takeoff? Uh, sorry, made a little uh, error there. So, how long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff? Okay, exclude that little take there, and that's uh, an error on my part. Okay, and the answer would be think very hard. We need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. Do you require medical assistance? A, right? If I said to you, oh, we need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a, uh, with a passenger, it could be, like I said, many, many responses, but in this case, we're looking at the best possible response, and out of your choices, A, B, and C, do you require medical assistance was the best response. All right. Our last and final statement for today. I see a lot of smiling faces out there. Me too. I'm just as happy to see you, and I'm sure you're happy to see me, and then happy to leave, right? Okay. Uh, I see a lot of, of sad faces out there too. All right. So, we want to shut down one engine on the taxiway to save or conserve fuel. Okay. We want to shut down one engine on the taxiway to save or conserve fuel. Remember? All about action, right? Shut down an engine can save or conserve fuel, okay? Key in on that. And approve, how long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff? Hmm, possibly. Approve, how long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff? Ah, I'm gonna put a strong mark there. Remember, more than one answer sometimes, but best possible answer. Here we go with B. We need to return to the ramp due to a problem with the passenger. Now I can pretty much say that most of you in the class, I hope all of you in this class, will exclude this answer because look, we're talking about shutting down one engine on the taxiway to save or conserve fuel and our response is we need to return to the ramp due to a problem with a passenger. Okay, I think I made this one too obvious for you and uh, hopefully you realize that it has nothing to do, one has to do with staying where I'm at, where I'm at, and the other has to do with me going back to the ramp, okay? So, let's see what our third uh, choice would be for today. Requesting towing assistance. Mm. Remember, action words, we're talking about saving and conserving fuel. I don't need a tow truck, right? And the answer would be, of course, approve. How long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff? So remember, as if, if I were to say, we want to shut down one engine on the taxiway to save or conserve fuel. A possible response would be, approve. How long of a heads up do you need for the takeoff, right? Because it's going to take you some time to rev up your engines again, get them ready to go for takeoff, okay? So remember, try to make those connections when you hear certain phrases and uh, uh, questions and being able to make the, quite, uh, the, the right response. Again, I told you this was a very short and quick lesson. Um, uh, the future lessons will be maybe about twice as long as this, but no more than about 30 minutes. So like I said, hopefully uh, you can see how the phrases that you learned in the previous section will help you uh, better understand chapter two. And of course, you always have your PA book or practical aviation expression and book in front of you. And you should be able to uh, make the connection between chapter one and chapter two. Okay, we cover several important statements and responses. And like I said, you should be able to use these with comfort and ease. And this concludes our lesson for today. We hope you have enjoyed it. Good luck and have a safe flight. 
Again, I'm Iman Jones with Korean Air. Thank you.